Hello sewing friends and welcome to Hashtag Friday Sews. I'm Lisa Ann Spencer. Thank you for stopping by to visit with me today. I thought I would video from the opposite side of the room so that you wouldn't get bored of seeing the same old thing every time. So first I want to do a shout out to Jen of Today in Jen's Sewing Room for creating this hashtag and bringing the sewing community together. Thank you as always, Jen. All right, so what did I get accomplished this week? Actually quite a bit. First is my quilt. I did get it finished. And I think I had shown it to you last week and I had it layered and I had the um, ties done. I told you about it being a tied quilt. So I did get the backing um, sewn on and it is complete. So I will lay this across my bed and take a picture and let you take a closer look at it. All right, so after the quilt was done, I got started on Simplicity R11 523, which I showed you last time. And my daughter wanted this view, the long sleeveless. And you can tell from the picture how it has this little tricksy little twist in the front. And here are, I don't know which way to, there you go, line drawings for the back. This one with the tie. Okay, and she is a size 12 according to her measurements, like a perfect 12. And so I cut the pattern size 12. Now I wanted to make a toile. I noticed some people call it a muslin, and I know you're all talking about the same thing. Muslin would be an inexpensive material, right, that you would make a test garment with. Um, I've heard some people say wearable muslin, meaning you make it in order to wear it, or a wearable toile. So I had a sheet, a 100% polyester um, sheet that I was not using anymore, and I really did not want to cut the knit without making this garment first. So I made this a size 12 from a sheet. Now because this is woven, it's not stretch. I knew it wouldn't be the same. So what I did was left the underarms unsewn to the waistline. I just gave them a little hem so that she could get it over her head to try it on for fitting. And what was really helpful is the little twisty in the front. Um, if anybody has ever made this pattern, and if you're dyslexic, oh boy, I, I did have to play around with it a few times to get it right. Um, and even the top piece, it looked completely upside down, like this is the top here, but it looked like the bottom. I thought the pattern was printed upside down. Oh, how glad I am that I made this first. Um, it really helped me. So this one's gonna go to my 13-year-old daughter. She's gonna use it as a gown. She loves it, and it fits her very nicely. So then I made the actual garment which turned out actually very beautifully. It, this is um, 90, 10, double brushed poly spandex material. It's called Painted Blue Clouds. It's gorgeous. Um, one of the things also that I learned from the pattern is it left several raw ends, because I guess when you're working with knit, it really doesn't matter, but I don't like that. So I learned where I could serge, which was like around the arms, and just turn those under. I did have a bit of a hard time with my old machine, at least I thought I did. Um, I could sew through two thicknesses of the material on my machine with no problem, but like if I tried to do a fold over hem and it was three layers, <clears throat> it just would not do it. It would skip stitches really bad. So I went upstairs to use my oldest daughter's machine, and it did the same thing. Um, hers has a stretch stitch and um, 
I thought, you know, I'd be able to do anything on there, but I couldn't. So um, I just had to go back and surge and just do two layers, and then I didn't have any trouble with that. But anyway, it turned out beautifully, and I'm going to insert a little video clip here of my 15-year-old daughter trying it on. And then the next thing that I made was what I am wearing now, which is about a size too big. It is New Look, and I can't read backwards, 6434. Um, there's a Butterick pattern that is this with only this view. So the New Look offered t-shirts with bands um, and then a no sleeve shirt with this ruffle on the bottom. So when I made this, I really wanted this shirt, but on the pattern, it calls for the scalloped border uh, material. I'll show you the line drawings on the back, and I think it's called Galoon when it's scalloped along the border. Anyway, this material my daughters picked out for me, and it was not scalloped, so I'm like, well, I'll just do the ruffle on this shirt. So I just sort of ignored a lot of instructions, which is not always wise. I chose this, the view D, yes, the sleeve and the ruffle and the bodice. Um, so what it ended up being is too long because I had this with then an attached ruffle on it added to the fact that the shirt is too big for me. But anyway, I am wearing it. I'm not going to stand up. What I'll do is just do a little video of me um, with it on. It's really long, so it actually will go great with leggings, and I'll be, I am going to wear it to church tonight. I got my khaki pants on, which is really weird because I hardly ever wear pants. I don't know that I've ever worn pants to church, but whoo, pushing the limits. Um, I actually am like the, one of the only ladies that wears dresses to church uh, at my church. Anyway, that's another story for another day. But anyway, it was easy. Um, this is 100% cotton jersey. It's, it feels cheap. It doesn't have the nice soft texture to it and it doesn't, it stretches one way but not another. And it's pretty. It's got the um, little blue daisy outline flower and I, I like it. And my girl said, oh mom, that's so pretty. Well, that's just love talking, you know. But anyway, it was an easy sew. I have a new shirt. I'm glad I did it. As far as what I'm going to be doing next week, I really... I have a dress that I showed in a previous video that I want to make for myself. So let me grab that. It's um, Simplicity 8595. I'm going to make the long view with the peekaboo sleeves. And I know I've shown you this material already, but I'll show you again. And this is a nice... Um, I don't remember, 9010, I think, stretch knit, beautiful, love the color blue, love the brown and cream and the flowers, so I am going to make that. Not sure if I'll make it this week, I am maybe going to take a little break. I've been pushing really hard and had a lot of stuff going on personally, so I think I probably will not post next week, but I will work on this video probably. Um, I'll work on this dress and make a video and post that on the following Friday for Friday Sews and um, probably just work on a few small projects. So that's it for me, really. This is a short video. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out Jen's um, channel and I'll see you next time.